Book one, proposition one of Euclid's Elements focuses on constructing equilateral triangles. So on a given finite straight line to construct an equilateral triangle. So what this means is that we start with a straight line, and we'll label these points A and B. And what we're going to do is create an equilateral triangle from this starting point. And when dealing with any of the propositions from Euclid's elements, we need to keep handy a list of Euclid's 23 definitions, five postulates, and five common notions. So here is a basic list of the definitions, and I highly recommend skimming through them because we'll be using all of them in these videos. And here are the postulates and common notions. Most of these things are very common sense ideas. For instance, common notion one, which we'll use, is that things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another. So if A equals B and B equals C, then A also equals C. Or for instance, postulate one, which we'll use in this video, to draw a straight line from any point to any point. Basically, that says that if we have two points, we can draw a straight line between them. So with that in mind, let's focus on creating an equilateral triangle. So our first step is to use postulate number three, which says that we can create a circle using any point as the center and any radius. So we'll do that, creating a circle with a center point at A and the radius of that circle will be this line AB. Again, this comes from postulate number three. And our next step is to do pretty much the same thing, but this time to make a circle with a center point at B, though using the same radius, this line AB. And this will also use postulate number three. And now that we've drawn these two circles, we can notice that they intersect and we can label one of these points, we'll call it C. And what we can do from here is to connect the points A and C and B and C. And keep in mind that creating these lines AC and BC just come from postulate number one, which says that we can connect any two points with a straight line. Now, if we focus on definition number 15 from Euclid's 23 definitions, let's take a look at this. So definition 15 describes a circle. So a circle is a plane figure contained by one line such that all the straight lines falling from one point among those lying within the figure are equal to one another. So essentially what this means is that if we draw any line from the center of the circle to the edge, they will be equal to any other line that we draw from the center to the edge. Or in other words, the radii of the circle are equal to each other. This is essentially the definition of a circle. And from this definition, we can notice that lines AC and AB are both radii of the circle with center A. So AC is equal to AB. And with this same logic, we can notice that lines CB and AB are radii of the circle with center at B. So they are equal to each other. So BC is equal to AB. And again, this is from definition 15 for a circle. And now if we use common notion number one, which states that things which are equal to the same thing are also equal to one another, we can notice that since lines BC and AB are equal to each other, and AC and AB are equal to each other, we can conclude that lines AC is also equal to BC. So AC equals BC. 
And now we have all three sides of this triangle equal to each other, which is the definition of an equilateral triangle. This is actually from definition number 20 in Euclid's 23 definitions. So in conclusion, or we can say therefore, this is the symbol for therefore, triangle ABC is equilateral.